What is up everyone and welcome to what I hope is going to be a really quick little repair video. I hope there's actually nothing wrong with this system. This is a little Packard bell tower, um, glossy glossy top plastic and stuff, card readers on the front, really small, probably full of proprietary hardware knowing my luck, although it does look to be sort of standard on the back but you can never you can never really tell it's quite a nice little system but i've had this in before um it's from someone locally before there was a problem it just wasn't booting up properly um for some strange reason but then when i uh unplugged everything and plugged everything back in internally and reseated the ram it booted up absolutely fine so i hope it's going to be a similar scenario um but apparently Nothing comes up on the screen when you turn it on, and it makes a weird noise. So I'm pretty much intrigued to find out what's wrong with this. Um, they are totally don't know anything about computer type people, just use it for emails and web browsing as far as I know. Um, but it is what it is, let's take a little look in true IMNC style. So this thing actually has a VGA and a HDMI output, so I won't be able to use my KVM switch. Although, I'll see if I can grab a, um, oh no, I don't, uh, I don't have a, I don't have a DVI to HDMI, HDMI uh, a VGA to DVI adapter, so I'm going to have to plug this into the VGA port on one of my monitors. And the VGA port is actually occupied on all of my monitors apart from... Actually, do you know what, guys? I'm going to go upstairs and get a dedicated monitor for this because I've got a mouse here. I might as well. There's no harm in doing that, and it'll make my life a lot easier. I'm going to go upstairs and get a VGA monitor. I'm going to plug it all in, then I'm going to start recording again, and I'm going to boot it up for the first time on camera to see what's wrong with it. So if anything exciting happens, then I can capture it on camera, which would be really good. So bear with me for a second, guys. I'm going to go and get a monitor. So I've got a feeling this is going to be quite entertaining, guys, to the point where it's either going to work completely fine or it's not going to do anything, so let's give it a go. Three, two, one, go. So. Bloody hell. Okay. <laughs> so something's not happy inside. It sound, it's very loud, and I'm surprised at how much air that little fan is shifting. It looks like a little 80 mil, maybe even smaller. Okay, cool. So, at least we know there's something for us to take a look at inside. Um, something's just come disconnected or something, or maybe it's totally fried, I have no idea. But, uh, wow, that is definitely entertaining. So I'll get a new angle and we'll take a look inside. Hey guys, take a listen to this, right? If I turn this off and unplug the machine, listen to this for coil wine. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Sounds like an actual computer game, um, which is absolutely bonkers, guys. So let's open the side panel. I'm assuming that it's a dead, uh, dead PSU that's causing a load of hassle, but I could be totally wrong. It may just whine like that all the time. But that is certainly not something that I would be very happy with in terms of noises, my computer should not be making. Anyway, let's ping off the side door. Man, that is stiff. Okay, it's fairly interesting design, guys. It's got one of these flip-out PSU designs to it. Um, let me see if I can get you the best angle possible here. Okay, so that angle is a decent compromise between me being able to see the system and you guys being able to see the system. So, if I remember rightly, the the... PSU just unfolds um, somehow. Ah, but for some reason it's getting caught. It's not doing what it. 
Oh, okay. Wow. Now then, guys. What can I say about this, then? What can I say? <laughs> For starters, this kind of thing is an absolute nightmare to work on, but... Let's check all the connectors. 4-pin CPU connector is clicked into place and it is now no longer clicked into place because I just accidentally pulled it out. It's quite loose feeling. It's interesting that the rear case fan spins up all the way so that it's the computer's going into panic mode, the motherboard is panicking um, for whatever reason because the case fan is actually moving a lot of air. I assume the CPU fan is going like the clappers as well. Um, let's take a little feel of the whatever connector this is up here. This is feeling like a 20 pin connector. And I believe it's proprietary guys by the looks of it. Doesn't look like ATX, but it could be. Okay, let's yank this out. Let's have a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 19, 20 pins. With a couple of pins not even connected. One pin not even connected. So that is in place. I'm going to reseat both sticks of memory. If I can. And at the same time we get to see how much RAM is in this thing. They're very small little low profile RAM sticks. Let's see what you can see. There they are. Really short little sticks of RAM. Let me get my magnifying glass to read these. These are one gigabyte DDR2 800. So this machine is is cranking on in age now a little bit. Um, so two gigs DDR2 800. Nice little sticks of RAM. Um, let me just take a quick look over everything else in here. SATA cables connected. It's got a SATA drive and a SATA optical drive which is nice. All that is connected, good. Let me put the RAM back in. You never know guys, it may boot up fine after reseating this lot, but uh, highly doubtful to be honest. Let's get this memory back in the board. One, that was fairly problem free. And See if I can get the second one in as easily. That first one was definitely luck. It's always hard working on computer cases on their side, in my opinion. But the way this PSU works, you know. Now there could be some kind of sensor or something stupid like that in this computer to say that it's shut. That's often why a system could could panic in that manner and ramp everything up to full. But I am sort of thinking that a dead dead PSU could be at fault here. Um, these small little PSUs don't tend to be the most reliable things. And yes, guys, I am struggling with this second stick of RAM. Ah, oh, guys, I must be tired today. The entire stick was upside down, as in the pins were facing the wrong way. My God, what a complete idiot. I'm trying to ram it in or mangle the motherboard at the same time. Let's see what I can do about this, come on. All right, there's the second memory stick in, finally. Let's reconnect the 20 pin and see if this is the same magic as last time. But something is telling me that this system is completely effed because of the power supply or whatever. So if I can even get this plugged in. That is everything plugged back in guys. Let me plug the kettle lead into the PSU and try once more to boot it up. Okay, we had a post beep that time. The system, yeah, hey, the system is posting. Same problem as last time. Computer's fixed. Thank God for that. Still sounds loud as hell though. Hmm, it's saying something. I can't press F1, I've got no keyboard connected. All right, what I'm gonna do is put this back together, guys. Um, I'm not happy about that coil wind. I'm really not. This could be the sign of a nearly dead PSU, which isn't great, 
but whatever. Let's see what we can do with this. Maybe a bit of a tight squeeze to get... Aha! There we go. That's that clip back into place. Let's get the door on so hopefully the fans won't ramp up as much. I need to get a keyboard connected. I'll go upstairs and get a keyboard in a second. And we need to try out this system properly and see if it behaves in Windows. If I can get on if they don't have a password. So hopefully we are back up and running. As you guys can tell, I am a total professional when it comes to computer repairs. I know exactly how to diagnose, blah, blah, blah. I really, really don't. I need to brush up on my skills, but luck always comes my way in terms of these little repairs. So let's plug this power cable back in. And I'm just gonna go and grab a keyboard. Okay, so kind of got the monitor in frame there. My tripod is falling over for whatever reason, but anyway. Got a keyboard, guys, PS2 one, to be on the safe side. Always handy having PS2 stuff knocking around. Let's plug that in to the back. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. And let's boot it up. Three, two, one, go. There we go, not as loud as it was. And it is posting. But it's still very loud, I don't know why. Two beeps. Press F1 to load default values and continue. F1. Cool, it's ramping down a bit. Starting windows. Does it really have to be this loud? Is this how, is this how loud it is or what? I think everything is going at a normal speed apart from that rear case fan. So maybe I'll jump into the BIOS and see if it lets you control the fan speed. And naturally there is a uh, password. Oh, for crying out loud. No, can't get onto Windows. Okay, that doesn't make much of a difference to me guys. I can see that it's booted up. It would be nice to go into Windows and have a little look. But um, what I'll do instead is shut down the machine and um, and see if we can do anything in the BIOS about these loud fans. But it may always be this loud, I'm, I have no idea. Oh, it's back up and running normally now. Let's take a look and see what it does now. Beep, it's posted. Pack a bell. Let's take a little look. Starting windows. Wow, it has now gone really quiet. And that fan in the back is spinning very slowly. You've got quite a wide range on that little fan. I'm very impressed. See if it gets the login screen. Intriguing, guys. Intriguing. There we have it. Login screen. See if I can... Ah, uh, Other than trying to copy the username, I don't even know what to try with this. But yeah, that that is it. I'll try and um, unplug it from the power now, after it's shut down. Boot it up once more, see if everything is okay. This coil wine is, is ridiculous, but it looks like it's not really involved with anything. On it goes. Little puff of the fans. It's posting. Pack a bell, splash screen. How the hell do you open the optical drive on this thing then, guys, I wonder? That is, in my opinion, a very good question. Does anyone know? I can't figure it out. So, I believe that reseating the cables and the RAM may have helped. Probably the RAM. Here we have it. Sweet, booted up, Windows 7, there it is. 
So let's just check the mouse is moving. Yeah, the mouse is working. Shut down. Good, fantastic. Well guys, that isn't as elaborate as I thought it was gonna be in terms of repairs. Um, I'm actually contemplating not uploading this because it's been quite boring, but I think I will anyway, just to show you guys the diverse range of things you can get. So that is a little Packard Bell Tower um, that just had a little bit of a hissy fit and needed its RAM reseating, and everything is now fine and it is back to its normal sound level, which is great. So F1, load optimised defaults, job done, Bob's your uncle, and it is working well. So I'm quite pleased with that little fix, guys, because um, even though I didn't do anything, it always gets me in people's good books locally, so um, obviously you can ask for, when you do things like this, you can always ask for a little bit of money, and it really does keep things ticking over because, um, you know, computer repairs is, is an intriguing one, you know, you never have to really tell them what's wrong with it, you know. When I give this back, I'll say, a uh, little bit of a problem, all sorted now, thank you very much, you know, they, they don't need to know. Um, so yeah, that, that, that is really good, and uh, I won't be asking for money from, from these because he's a friend anyway so that, that is that is what it is but unplugging that and unplugging my keyboard which is this one I am very happy guys so that is a little demonstration sometimes when people give you computers that don't work for whatever reason maybe just a little bit of a reseat will help things out and uh, this is the second time this computer has done this now so I'm expecting to see it again hopefully uh, in, in uh, in the, the distant future because uh, it's not going to look too good if it keeps doing it and I keep having it backward and forward but I really don't understand how the hell in God's name you'd ever open that optical drive but anyway I don't need to open the optical drive so I won't stress about it thank you very much for watching everyone I really do appreciate this sorry that this video wasn't more elaborate and wow this little machine isn't actually that bad it's got a seller on in it but it's got Nvidia graphics and it's also got eSATA on the back I noticed which is cool but anyway, getting distracted now, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed this little video, and as always, I will see you in tomorrow's video.